Hi, this is Brooks. I'm learning Java, and I thought it might be helpful for some of you who might be stuck on a problem if I show you how I solved some common exercises. Please remember there is always more than one way to solve a problem, and many of those ways might be better than mine. So try to solve it your way first. This problem wants us to print all of the distinct elements of some given input arrays. It also wants us to print the total number of distinct elements. For example, it'll give us two integer arrays. The first one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The second one containing 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. By distinct elements, I take it to mean every element that appears in either one of these. For example, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2 is already up here, 4 is already up here, 6 is already up here, 8 and 10. So the distinct elements will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8 and 10. And the total number of those will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's begin by creating some input arrays to test this with. If you're doing this on an online assessment, you may have to input these from a user of some kind. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now that we have our two input arrays, what kind of data structure can we construct that can hold all of the distinct elements? My suggestion would be to use a hash set. A set can only hold unique elements. I'll just call it answer. If you have an integer set, it cannot hold the same number more than once. So I think that would be a good tool to use in this situation. We'll have to import these. up here. Now we just need to add all of the elements from each array into the set. We'll just do a for each here for each integer in array 1. We'll add that integer into the set. So for array 1, it'll add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 into our set. If 1 were to appear more than once in here, it would only add it one time. If this array said 1, 2, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, the 1 will only be added once. Now we can add all of the elements in array 2 to the set. The answer set already includes 2, 4, 6, so as it's iterating through array 2, it will not add 2, 4, or 6 to the answer set. It's already in there, but it will add 8 and 10. Just to see what it's looking like so far, let's print out our answer set and see what it contains. And this is what our set has, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, and 10. All of the distinct elements in these two arrays. So the question wanted us to print out all of the distinct elements of the two arrays and also print the total number of distinct elements. To print all of the distinct elements in our set, we can just iterate through the set as we did with the arrays and assuming they don't give you some sp specific format they want you to print it in I'll just print them all out on one line let's see how that looks 
Okay, there's our distinct elements. We are also told to print out the number of distinct elements, so we'll just use a standard print line for that. And the set gives us a function called size that should give us the complete total number of elements in that set. Kind of looks weird when it's on the same line as the other, so I'll just do this real quick. And that's how I'd solve this problem. I'm sure there are better ways. Uh, leave a comment if you have some better suggestions. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and hit the like button. I'll see you next time.